Senator? Uh, thank you very much, uh, <clears throat> Paul and uh, colleagues. Um, thank you very much uh, for affording us this opportunity. There are just five things that, uh, that we want to talk about uh, at the moment. The two are current things that are running. The first one is uh, <clears throat> the incident uh, yesterday in a primary school in Katle Home. Um, it's, uh, it's something that we condemn. When uh, a uh, community leader or a citizen um, carries what appears to be firearms uh, and a bush knife, go to an institution like education for whatever reason, brandish uh, such things uh, like a panga, and cause commotion uh, because that causes anxiety among children and among parents of uh, other children. We condemn that, and uh, we know that police are dealing with it. They've uh, arrested uh, four people, and uh, we uh, are hoping that more arrests will come as uh, it becomes necessary. So that matter is being dealt with. The second matter that we want to deal with, uh, which is current, is yesterday's incident in uh, Kailija where uh, police, uh, on following uh, sus suspects, um, they were met with gunfire when they uh, identified the home uh, where they needed to do a search. And uh, they were met with gunfire, and they, they then had to defend themselves by firing back. And on doing so, um, they left a number of people uh, uh, dead. Uh, five uh, uh, dead, um, uh, which increased uh, in the course of time. I think it increased to eight. Um, and then, other than that, they arrested uh, others. Now, it's important that we mention this because uh, uh, I must mention five AK-47s were found there. AK-47s. Now, this is a very high caliber weapon. Uh, and uh, it's related to uh, war. You don't, you don't carry, it's not a knife. It's an AK-47, five of them. And then there was also an R1. There was, there was also another assortment of, uh, of weapons. And all in all, the group was around 20, if not 21, who were caught there. And uh, all of them, on seeing police approaching, uh, they responded by uh, gunpowder. Now, <clears throat> I read uh, a newspaper called the Sunday Tribune, and I picked up two things there. There was a phrase that was used, I think, by the journalists who wrote that, talking about uh, trigger happy police. Trigger happy police. They don't talk about uh, trick happy criminals. They don't talk about uh, um, uh, 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 trick happy other criminals other than those who get caught in sins, in crime sins that uh, uh, form the context uh, thereof. A number of uh, crime sins in the near past uh, in uh, KZN. And then they start raising those. We are in a democratic country who accept different opinions in whatever situation or fight. But I think uh, media need to uh, um, uh, give police, South African police, space. We can't be complaining about everything. You complain about uh, uh, high rising uh, or high levels of crime, and uh, we condemn police for not acting. And when they act, and they get uh, uh, prevented from acting via uh, shootings at them. And then when they protect themselves, defend themselves, and then were the ones who come forward uh, immediately. And we totally say nothing about communities that from time to time fall victim of such uh, um, killing gangs. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Right about, uh, um, uh, trick a happy uh, uh, police. It's unfair. It is factually wrong. 
but uh, we have uh, 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 identified those people who are raising concerns. We will meet them because we're in a democratic uh, country. We're not just going to um, uh, talk as we talk, but we'll meet them and uh, say, from which crime scene are you developing? Because if you were there, you have seen that police are now being shot at, and uh, they can't do any other thing. They have to defend themselves. And what happens in the in the in the in the process is a is a different matter altogether. So we <clears throat> we welcome what police did in Kailicha yesterday uh, because they got uh, intelligence information about. Uh, what would have been uh, a, a CIT, um, no, not a CIT, uh, yes. it, was, it was going to be an attack either on business or, or uh, whatever that they were planning to attack, and they were intercepted. And that is the duty of police, to intercept crimes, so that we bring the number uh, down. But we will also welcome uh, the seizure of those firearms, uh, as we say, I mean the rifles including an R1, uh, and so on. Those are, are very high caliber uh, weapons, and uh, uh, we welcome that uh, those uh, were seized, including pistols and all of that. Now, but uh, <coughs> we are here in the ANC Lekhotla. Uh, three of the matters that uh, uh, dominated our discussions in the, uh, in the, in the commissions, and uh, speaker after speaker, I did say I come from a particular community. I have a, um, an experience of what I'm talking about. I'm picking up from social media. I'm picking up on the concerns that the public are raising, of which I'm part. The first one is uh, <clears throat> the murder rate in the country, which uh, uh, is something that has been raised quite sharply when we we're dealing with the budget uh, debates in parliament raised by uh, the two houses of uh, parliament, both um, National Assembly and then COP. Uh, they were asking those questions. They were raising those uh, uh, issues, saying that we, we, South Africa appears uh, to be in a situation where you could say, um, uh, w w w you could ask a question whether uh, the police are in control of uh, the crime situation in the country, or this is now out of control. The, 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 the speeches and the questions ranged between those two questions, which were directed at us. Is crime rate under control? Could police come forward and say, no, things are under control, or uh, maybe uh, we need to uh, make a statement and say things are out of control. Our response was um, the, 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 the current situation is not out of control. But uh, we were also saying it's also not really under control. It's not, it's not under control uh, either. But it's somewhere uh, in between. Uh, the two, and that's our worry, because we should be saying outright and with confidence the situation is under control. We will be misinterpreted if we say so because of the rate of crime in the country, various uh, uh, crimes. Now, it's murder uh, in terms of types of crime that we're worried about, and, and two, uh, the proliferation of guns Illegal, illegal firearms, but also legal firearms. We are worried about that. But together with that, we are worried, extremely worried about the extent to which the country uh, has availability of drugs, various drugs. You now go to a community and they tell you that the dominant drug here is cocaine. There it's another, there it's another, and so on. And so they even know what drugs are dominating, what drugs are running in the taxi ranks that are running on the roads, um, how they are being brought into the country by individuals 
by groupings uh, of people and all of that. Now, so, so murder and, uh, and, and, and drugs are our priority. Uh, but not that alone. Uh, uh, of late, we're seeing kidnappings uh, and extortions uh, also on the increase. But it also is taking, is taking our attention to uh, uh, the uh, uh, foreigners in our country, illegal foreigners and undocumented foreigners. So we sometimes follow a case of uh, kidnapping and you land on, uh, uh, like in the case of Ethiopians in Gauteng, 90 of them, all of them undocumented. But you're following a kidnapping uh, issue. You follow on, others, on, on uh, uh, the other day on uh, uh, drugs, and then you land on uh, uh, kidnapped people, uh, and, and so on. So it's, it's murder, it's drugs, it's kidnappings, and uh, 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 people who are undocumented who are in the country uh, who we are worried about.